Magnesium has become a very popular supplement. And everybody's asking, what's the best magnesium to take? Hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Dean. You may have noticed that there are about a dozen different magnesium compounds on the market. And my customer service team is often asked which ones I think are best. I've been researching magnesium since 1999. And many people think that the second edition of my book the Magnesium Miracle 2017 is the final word on magnesium. However, in my latest book, Magnesium, The Missing Link to Total Health, I make it very clear that our cells aren't able to use magnesium compounds. They need magnesium ions to activate six to 800 enzyme processes and 80% of non-metabolic functions in the body. The key is to make magnesium into a picometer size stabilized ion that the cells will readily accept. I've been working with such a supplement called Remag for over a decade with great success. The magnesium compounds on the market are actually magnesium and posters. Take magnesium L3 and 8. This product is advertised as 200 milligrams on the front of the label, which is the amount of the compound. But when you turn the label around, you see that the amount of elemental magnesium in a dose of three capsules is only 144 milligrams, 48 milligrams per capsule. Remember that the RDA of magnesium is a very low three to 400 milligrams. I think most people need 600 for maintenance and more for overcoming magnesium deficiency. Then there's magnesium oxide, which we are told is only 4% absorbed, making it a super laxative. However, in 2000 milligrams of magnesium oxide, you find 1200 milligrams of elemental magnesium. Here's what's going on. As I said, cells can only utilize magnesium ions. A magnesium compound has to disassociate in liquid, which means in the blood. It has to break down into its two elements in order for the magnesium ion to be absorbed through the cell mineral ion channels. However, magnesium is highly reactive, two electrons in the outer shell. So it's only for a split second that it's in an ionic state and it's only in that split second it can be absorbed. The reason why magnesium oxide, even with so much elemental magnesium, 1200 milligrams, is so poorly absorbed at 4% is probably because there's so much oxygen in the blood that the magnesium ions are immediately slammed with oxygen and turned back into magnesium oxide, which is quickly eliminated through the large intestine as a laxative. That's okay for people who have constipation, but it won't get you saturated with magnesium at the cellular level. So when supplement companies say, take our magnesium taurate, it will be extra helpful for your heart. They are talking about the amino acid taurine that's part of the compound, not the magnesium ion. Magnesium taurate has 50 milligrams of elemental magnesium in a 500 milligram dose of the compound. Magnesium malate has 75 milligrams for 500 dose of the compound. Magnesium glycinate has 50 milligrams of elemental magnesium in a 500 milligram dose of the compound. These magnesium compounds are not giving you very much magnesium for your magnesium deficiency symptoms. They are giving you a much higher amount of the amino acid that is bound to magnesium that might be giving you symptom relief from your magnesium deficiency symptoms. The amino acid taurine, for example, um, helps heart function. The malic acid in magnesium malate helps with energy production. The amino acid glycine in magnesium glycinate supports muscle function. And so it goes for all the magnesium compounds, including the ones 
that had four, five, six, or seven different types of magnesium. They all have to break down to be absorbed. These forms of magnesium will definitely give some relief because the body desperately needs magnesium. Even a small amount gives some relief, but most people need much more. But then if you take more, a lot of these compounds will give you the laxative effect. The beauty of Remag, which is a stabilized ion of magnesium, is that it will be fully absorbed and not even reach the large intestine. It's been clinically proven to be non-laxative. When I was asked by Random House to write the Magnesium Miracle, I realized I was severely magnesium deficient, but I could not take more than 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams a day of magnesium without getting the laxative effect. Using a picometer size stabilized ion of magnesium allowed me to take 1200 milligrams of elemental magnesium until my magnesium deficiency symptoms cleared.